What's up everyone, welcome back to After the Storm, welcome back to the NHL 2005 Dynasty Mode series. Episode 44, I believe we are on, could be wrong, losing track a little bit, nevertheless... We have a matchup, second half of back-to-back -back against the Carolina Hurricanes. As you can tell behind me, there's a lot of Canes stuff. I'm a Canes fan. This is an interesting game to play. Of course, I wasn't a Canes fan at this time. I was a Sens fan. Uh, so I really didn't pay attention or see much of Carolina at all this time because Carolina was kind of bad before 2006-07. Or 05-06, I should say. Actually, that, that makes more sense. Um, but, yeah... Uh, they're uh, kind of like they they had the, the run to the uh, Stanley Cup final in 2002. Um, they haven't they're not about to make that 0506 run here yet, so they're not super great. They're kind of mediocre at this point. They're in the middle of the play or as I, I'll get into it in the in the preview here. As I was mentioning, they're kind of middle of the pack, right? 45 points, 16th in the NHL. They're in a playoff spot. They're second in their division, which is kind of weak. Uh, that south southeast division at this time wasn't very good. Again, another game where you know we're coming in, we're we've won eight straight. We're trying to win nine in a row. It's a team we definitely can do it against. We have the advantage on offense and defense, and even goaltending. Taking a look at the the, uh, the matchup in net for this one, Curtis Joseph coming in second half of back to back. Theodore's played pretty well, but he started to let some goals in the last couple of episodes. So let's get Theodore some rest. Let's bring in Cujo. He's been excellent so far for us. He has the advantage here, even on the road in Carolina, so Cujo gets the net against Kevin Weeks. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to do it. I don't think there's anything else to really go over. Let's go ahead and get into the matchup against the Carolina Hurricanes. RBC Center in Raleigh, North Carolina. A matchup between a Western and Eastern Conference opponent, the Carolina Hurricanes, taking on the Colorado Avalanche. Anthems are next, followed by Puck Drop. Canes and Avs ready to go. Peter Laviolette and his squad ready to get the game underway. The Colorado Avalanche, the NHL's hottest team, have won eight straight games, nine of their last ten. They look to extend that here. Even with the injury concerns, they're flipping to Curtis Joseph in net. They're looking to get continue their push up the standings. There's a pass over to Yager. She caught on. Weeks with the stop. And we'll hold that one. Brett Hedekin, plus 17 on the air, 19 points. 109 hits, that's his game. Throws the body. A great shutdown type defense on the draw. Williams against Lindros. Here's foot, shot. Back was going over the back of Weeks, but it looks like he got himself back in time. Puck drop to the right of Kevin Weeks on the draw. Lindros wins that one. Shot from the point. Lindros on the rebound. A set play from the Avalanche. And Lindros, his second goal. Remember the Avs. Opens up a one-goal lead. And that rebound play is something that this Avalanche squad tees up. More often than not, they capitalize on it. Early on, Colorado. Gets the lead. So Ray with the hit there on Rue 2. Blake coming back into the play. Takes that pass of Hayduke. He takes a hit from Bondra. Yager finds Hayduke on the wing. Hayduke shot. Takes a hit. But a solid stop as Hedekin takes a hit there. Weeks with the save there. Blake. Forsberg. 
Yager looks like he might be been offside and no whistle. Blake shot. Blocked on the way through. Hedekin up on the play. Here's Lindros. Looking some moves as he comes into the zone. Shot there. Around the net. Looking for somebody in front. Can't find anyone. Shaslevy. Bringing it back. Here's Lyles. Against him. Lyles wins that battle. Gets the puck. Shot on. Maybe a rebound there, but Weeks covers that one. John, Joel Quenville, rather. Something going on on the bench over there. Doesn't like the Bondra hit. Peter Bondra, the leading point scorer for this Carolina team. On the draw, Hendrickson loses it. Work bringing it back the other way. Work in shot. Easily stopped by Cujo. That pass down the ice won't make it for icing. Cole back. Hall on him. The rookie, Eric Stahl. West Walls there. Acquired from the Minnesota Wild earlier this season. Exchange for Rod Brendamore. Hall into the zone. Dumped in. Ward. Tchaikovsky still with the puck. Shot on. Weeks finds it through the traffic. Loves it down. And will get the change. Radic Martinik. His partner, Ossie Vonanen. Vonanen stepped up when Adam Foote went down. Went up to that second pairing. Excellent play from him. Drops himself back down to the third. Yager takes the hit there. Verbata bringing it back in. Verbata, big hit by Surrey on Verbata. Here's Forsberg bringing it back in. Stops up, looks for a trailer. Shot on. Blake dumps it back in. Forsberg around the boards. Finds it first. Yager there. Ooh, weeks. Gets down quick to make that stop. Didn't really know where it was. Gets the puck held. Four minutes to go here in the first. One nothing score. Shot on there. Ooh. Solani from a sharp angle. Looks like it hit the back of Kevin Weeks. Dropped in, but the Kane's able to clear it out. Here's Solani. Solani spins off. Back in front to Bure. Oh, and a backhander. What timing on that from Pavel Bure. He is 20th on the year. Beats Kevin Weeks on the glove side. Looks like Kevin believes he's going to go to his forehand. He stops it up short. The dynamic Russian rocket. Getting his 20th of the year. Stahl shoved off. Final minute approaching of the first. McCormick pressed by Ward. Here's Stahl. Hit there by Brigley. He's coming to the lineup for the injured Andre Nikolishin. There's Cole in on the breakaway. Stopped. And that will do it for the first. Lindros and Bure, the goals. Avalanche take a commanding 2 0 lead into the second period. 12-1 the shots. Favor of the Avs in that first period. Looks like they're going to run away with this game. And then Dross back the other way. Hedekin throws a nice hit on him. Glenn Wesley picks up the puck. Verbata. Joseph out to play it. Plays it around the boards. Finds Lindros. Penalty upcoming. Looks like Lindros is going to go. Verbata in. Lyles and a huge hit there by Adam Foote. Nothing on the play. Whistle blows and Eric Lindros going to go off for interference on Peter Ponder. So a penalty to kill off for the Avalanche. Hayduk and Forsberg out. Brutu wins that draw. And Surrey right down. He grabs the puck to play, but he freezes it. Not sure what was going on there, but 
He's decided to hold on. Hall drops walls. Blake around the boards. Here Cole. Blake with the bump to Cole. Lost the puck and it gets dumped down by the Avalanche. Here's Walls bringing it back out. Hall. Excellent defensive play here as he's inserted into this penalty killing role. Cole back to Stahl. Hall is there. Get that puck off of Eric Stahl, who had a chance in front. Work turned it over through his body weight. Spawny will get it back into the zone. Walls picks it up. Bondra. Nice wrap chance there. Nothing coming of it. Though. Carolina, 20 seconds left on the power play. Bonger back in front. Pass there. Rutu was tied up. And Hayduke will clear it out. That will do it. Colorado killing off the power play. Turned over there. Lindros out of the box. Lindros throws his way back at Robata. Hayduke there. Chess Levy. And Lindros pulled it out of the zone, but couldn't keep it there. Four wins on the season for Curves Joseph. Struggled early on with a Detroit squad that was, at that time, struggling quite a bit. Since then, it's played pretty well here in Colorado. Kevin Adams there. Turned over to Fa, Tapper. Ward, slap shot from the point. Cujo's got that one. Plays it out to Hendrickson. Hendrickson takes a hit. Tchaikovsky bump. Here's Hall. Over to Tchaikovsky scores. Riku Hall. Might have batted that one out of the air. The man who had the empty netter in Dallas last night. Looks like he bats that one out, but could be a Review on that one doesn't look like there will be. I think it's underneath the bar. Nevertheless, a 3 0 lead Colorado goal. for the Avalanche. It's been a very one sided game thus far. Brendel. Craig Adams takes a big hit in the neutral zone. Here's Brigley. Shot on. Gets a whistle there. Fourth liner. Getting his search into the lineup his second game since Nicolation went down. Lindros on the draw. Won it there. Lyles shot on. A couple great chances for the Avs, but nothing coming of it. Solani turns that puck over on Wesley. There's Lindros again. Lindros. Bure shot. Lindros back in front. Somehow that didn't go in. Might have been blocked out in front. Here's Bondra back the other way. Broken up. Bure. Trying to get through the neutral zone. He does. He enters the zone. Shot on for a rebound there. Ross lifting it to the corner. Beret's there first. Back in front. Beret. Good for a chance. Weeks is the first one to pounce on the puck. Blake off of the bench. Threw a hit. Almost got the puck out of it, but it's offside. Three nothing Colorado here in the second period. Hayduke still with the puck turns fires chance there. Yager. Defa. Surrey dumps the puck in. 
Back in front to Yager. Oh, and it's blocked by Tapper. Final minute of the second here. Hey Duke takes a shot, low pad, big save by Weeks. One last chance here, no shot for the Hurricanes as a 3 0 lead for the Abs. To the third period we go. Three shots on Curtis Joseph through two periods, an absolutely dominating performance for the Avalanche. And they look to close this one out. Miles dumping it in. Through two there. Here's Lindros almost back with it. Bondra. Shot on. That one goes down as foot cleared it after the shot. Hedekin takes a big bump there from Lindros. Beret shot on. Weeks with the save. Certainly not the ideal game for the Hurricanes in this one. A very one-sided game, which looks to be the ninth consecutive victory on its way for the Avalanche. Here's Forsberg up the wing. Forsberg tried to play it over to Hayduk. He couldn't. Forsberg still with it. Shot on. Turn fired. Second one. Hayduk scores. Elon Hayduk. A rebound off the Peter Forsberg slot shot. It's a 4-0 lead for the Avalanche. Dross wins the draw. Pass down the ice. Weeks out to play it. Wesley will bring it back with Bondra as the Canes look to get anything started. Or two down the ice. That'll be icing as he touches it up. Thirteen forty-five to go in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. Comes Yager. Forsberg up. Shot on. Rebounder there for. Yager, uh, a big stop there from Weeks. Blake throws a big hip check on Tapper. Forsberg. Couple chances there. Here comes Kevin Adams. Hit before he could get the shot away. Yager still with the puck. Tapper gets him off finally. Surrey with the poke check. Yager. Bondra. Bondra with it still. Foot with a good stick. Breaks that one up. Here's Bure. And back to the center. Loves to do that move. There's Lindros. Big hit on Verbata. A chance right there as Weeks makes a great stop. It's heaven to go here in the third. Lindros. Shot on. Got the weak one. Lyles turns the puck back. Five minutes to go here in the third. One sided game tonight. Lyles will just dump it back. Stahl takes the hit from Blake. Solani comes back the other way with it. Shot on. Glove stop by Weeks. Stahl back in front. For a pass, won't get through. One minute left in the third period. Stahl. Air big hit by Yager. Final minute to go. One-sided game. 
almost to its conclusion. Shot on. Peter tipped in front. Good stop by Weeks. And aside from the goals, has been solid in this game. And an Avalanche team that just cannot slow down. They are playing their best hockey of the season, undoubtedly. And they're finally showing the star talent that is on the roster. Adams. Thirty-five seconds to go. Hendrickson and Chess Levy battling. Chess Levy wins that. Kevin Adams in. Shot on. Kujo with the save. Plays it out to Cherkovsky. Lifts it into the zone. Hendrickson back to retrieve. Down low. Cherkovsky. Shot. Won't get anywhere. Here's Martinek. Final seconds here, Kevin Adams. Shot on, Cujo makes the save, and the shutout is Cujo's. And a dominating game from the Avalanche. Carolina never really in it. Nine victories in a row for the Avs. We'll leave you with the three stars of tonight's contest. We'll catch you with the next Avalanche broadcast. All right, well, that was a very one-sided game. That's kind of what happens, though. Like, Carolina, not a strong team, of course, offensive or defensively. Good goalie, though, in weeks, but that was a one-sided game. Like, 32-8 to eight were the shots. Cujo gets the easiest shutout of his life, and we win our ninth straight game. Now, I know probably what you're thinking if you're watching this and you've been watching all the episodes is probably to turn up the difficulty a little bit. And I'm only on the medium difficulty, but to go up to difficult, it'd be a little... Hopefully those didn't whack up the settings here, but uh, probably did, realistically. Oh no, maybe it didn't. Maybe it stayed. Yeah, I think it stayed. All right, that's good. Um, yeah, but you know what? Uh, for the way we're playing right now, and in given that there's been some games that have actually been pretty close, the Dallas game, the uh, Ducks game as well, even the Calgary game is a good example of that in recent memory of, of games that have been close. I'm going to leave it where we are now. Another aspect of this whole thing is that the potential of the players, just like we had in the 2004 series, was the potential of the players at some point have to actually meet up. And looks like it's starting to. Like, everything's starting to click here in January, which makes sense. Uh, we're up to January 16th now. But this is the, one of the games that we had circled on our calendars from the beginning of the year. And this is a big one against Detroit. Just wipe all that off. Oh, Kurt, Kujo's fucking petite. There we go. Go. And in previewing this one, this is a game that, like I mentioned, we have circled on the counter the whole time. Should be very close. You know, offense, defense, we're a lot closer than usual. Uh, I would be very curious to see what this is like when we're actually playing in Detroit as opposed to at home. But again, we are a point up on this team. However, they are sitting second in the conference, first in their division. They're just leading their division. We're still battling with Minnesota and Calgary for those top spots in our Northwest division. But again, this is a measuring stick game. I think I mentioned that with, you know, Calgary. Probably St. Louis was another one a few episodes back. Again, this is another one where we got to prove ourselves against this team. So this is potentially an Eastern Conference final, or a Western Conference final, rather, matchup. Yeah, it's uh, this is one that has been brewing for a while we've waited 40 something games to play Detroit and now we get to play them taking a look at the goaltenders Manny Legacy in for Detroit and on the other side Jose Theodore again both goaltenders phenomenal three star ratings all across Legacy a little bit worse just because he's on the road Theodore a little bit better because he's at home anyways guys that's going to do it 
for this episode. If you liked the video today, give it a thumbs up down below. Hit that subscribe button as well while you're down there. Helps me out quite a bit. Hit that notification bell so you can get these videos as soon as they upload. And as always guys, I'll catch you on the next one.